Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're at the second sunset viewing point on the brand new coastal pathway from the Papas Harbour to the Cafalias Beach. And there's one or two improvements coming along again. They've started to put in the lights and these are going to be exercising machines. Now, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the naughtiest, cheekiest, sneakiest little monkey in the world. And she just happens to be the most beautiful girl in the world. And her name is Miss Ochin Gracia Labo. Hello, everybody. Say bye-bye to me. How nice to see you again. And again. Are we exercising, are we? Here we go. She's going to be climbing up a ladder especially for you. You can't take this girl anywhere. Here we go. Live exercising on the little channel known as Marika and me. There she is, swinging for a dear life. Come on, get across. Jump to the next one now. Come on, let's see if you can do it. Keep I'm coming. Heavy. Keep <laughs> coming. Don't make a fool of yourself live on the little channel known as Marika and me. You've never done that before. Come on, next. It's not difficult. Yeah, Move one hand, that's it. Christina Booth has had enough. There we are. I wonder uh, if I can do it. Shall I go and have a look and see if I can do it? Man. Don't compare men well, I can't women. do it. I'm old. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you, I would do one. Only one. Okay. But now my muscles gone. We have to exercise more. Exercise okay. more. Right, come on. You okay. take over the camera. The camera right. work will probably get an awful lot better. Uh-huh. Okay. It's not easy, I know that. But you never know. Obviously not. There we are. You see, Mr. Not Paul. Easy. No, not easy. If you're old, like us. Come on, you. No. Now, take this. I'll try that. You try the lower one. Here we go. So... Try as a test, everyone who comes to Paphos, come along and let's see how many people can do it and invite Marika and me along to see if we can film it you, and to see if you, you can make a fool of yourself as well. Not, yeah. Not for me, no. No, not for you. You know, I would do it before, so which means I'm getting old. Unfortunately, <gasps> we are, yes. The two oldest YouTubers in the world. Oh, okay, you can have another go. No. The expression on the face says it all. Over yonder, there's another exercising machine, and there is a gentleman that's showing us how to do it. He is obviously much, much younger and much, much fitter. But this is the brand new second along sunset viewing point along the coastal pathway from the Paphos Harbour all the way to the Cafalius Beach. And there we go. She's a very, very proud girlfriend indeed, and she's thinking, what can you do to me that a little bit later? On that note, have a look at that for a view. Truly is a spectacality of a view indeed. When I was that age, I was going round around my uh, earth 360 degrees. Yes, indeed. Like I'm saying, there's new lights been installed and switched on along the coastal pathway. So, of course, now when it's dark, you'll be able to walk along this coastal pathway in total safety and glance out into the blueness, even on a dark evening, because it'll be looking absolutely spectacular indeed. Priscilla LaBeouf is dancing. She's prancing in the downtown Kedipathos Harbour. This is the kind of exercising that Priscilla LaBeouf likes. Chuck, Chuck, and Chuck. Now, turn around and come back. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Live gymnastics on the little channel known as Marika and me. Come on, it's going to get easier and easier and easier. The dancing, prancing, most beautiful woman in the world, Miss Ochin, Gracie Booth, and she's looking Sometimes absolutely spectacular. I love you. Sometimes I don't. Oh, it must be time to go to the boutiques. So, Lord Jeremy, Lord Simon, we're going to come and hunt you down tomorrow because Christopher Booth says Friday is coming and it's time to go shopping. And that's what it's all about. I was really disappointed when I couldn't do even one catch because if you, when you're holding with your two arms, if you're too heavy, and I am, then you have to let one out and hold another one. Well, the biggest problem is that you can't get your grip because it's steel. Often, on ones I've been on in the UK, they actually then wrap those bars with rubber. 
so then of course your hand can sink into the rubber and you've got a grip so wow. then it'll be easier come on i couldn't make even this just just to hold, take one off and well hold you're not I doing couldn't. too bad for a girl of 37 that's what i'm saying she's not doing too bad and i'm not doing too bad for a man of 75. Here we are, feast your eyes and digest. That is the beauty and the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. The sky is still looking rather blue. The sea, that's blue. Mr. Paul, he's dressed head to toe in blue. Well, that must mean one thing. All that is missing is... You! Of course you! So get yourself doggy on the big dog. No, big, big dog. Don't worry. Doggy. We'll get a doggy later or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. That's because we all impatiently, really waiting just for you. We are indeed. Ready? And we're at the second sunset viewing point along the coastal pathway from the Paphos Castle to the Cavalis Beach, which is just over there. That is the beauty of that view. The sun has finally set. It's leaving its final shadow. And of course, it leaves something that is absolutely beautiful, that golden afterglow that mixes and melds with the blueness of the blue, blue sky and of course the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. We're gonna go and find the naughty little cheeky monkey and see what she's got to say on this beauty of an evening in India. I would like to say first of all, have you noticed the little lights over there? It looks like a little coffin with a light in. Does it? So that's what we're gonna call them from now on, the little coffins with a light in, there they are and there's some brand new bins. So the municipality is doing some good things and let's hope that people use the bins rather than chuck the rubbish in and around because Paphos and the whole world is a beautiful, beautiful environment. And of course, we do need to take that little bit care of it. I know I talk about driving a Bentley and yes, I'm gonna get a Bentley one of these days, but I don't chuck my cans of Coke or my coffee cups out the window. I always put them in a bin. So please, whatever you choose to drive, whether it be a Tesla and you're saving the planet, whether it be a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, always chuck your litter in the bin, especially if you're on the beautiful coastline of downtown Paphos. And I'm more than sure that our dearest members of family always do. There is no doubt about that. That's because they are so gentle, so human beings, of all the human beings. I know that. They cannot be other way around. And if it happens, you see it. It means it happens by accident. Can I ask you to go on those little sticking up things again or not? What is sticking up things? Well, those things, the ones that start off yeah. long, then there's a slightly shorter one, then there's a smaller Are one, and then they get a bit fatter. No, I just think you look very, very cute doing it, and hopefully many people will like to watch it. And on that note, if you do like what you see, hit that like, click that subscribe, and don't forget to come back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness somewhere in and around the Paphos area. She tickles the living daylights out of me, and hopefully you are laughing at your screen as we speak. Here we go. She's coming around again. I don't think that it can get much better than that. Mr. Paul, are you trying to make me invalid? Something like no. that. You're trying to uh, me to break one of my no. uh, legs. I'm luckily. intending to tie you out and then get you a doggy that little bit later. I'll become Here a doggy soon in the next life. She will indeed. Downtown Kedapathos at its very, very best indeed. If you want to help the channel out, keep us afloat. Don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Mm -hmm. It's totally safe, it's totally secure. And that's where you can gift us that virtual coffee or two, or consider to join us as a Superstar member at only 10 euros a month. If your name's Sir Lee, we thank you very much. If your name is Lady Vicky, we thank you very, very much. And of course, their princess and our superstar, Lady Layla. We thank you very, very much indeed for being one of our superstar members and on top of all that, gifting us coffees now and again. And a big, big shout out to the girl in charge of our show. Of course, that's our day man in downtown Hartlepool. Yes, it's probably a little bit chilly in Hartlepool and Miss Hotching with Cedar Booth would have to wear a little bit more on top of her wet T-shirt. We're loving you and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to come and see us again on, and again. She's going to do it one more time. There we are. Don't click off just yet. I already lost three kilos. 
watching Graciela Booth at her very, very best indeed. Luckily, she's not wearing high they heels today. shaking all over because of my weight. Here she comes. <laughs> and Chuck and Norris. And Norris. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with a spectacality of a view out into the abyss of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. She's speechless. There we go. Thanks for watching, and of course, we'll see you again very, very soon indeed. I'm not speechless, I am talkless. You're talkless or topless? <laughs> we'll get you topless later. There we go. Somewhere over yonder is Coral Bay. If you're watching and your name is Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon, we're coming for you very, very soon indeed. <laughs>